Hey everybody, on today's video, we're playing with magnets. Nice. High five. David Salamone here of Learn, Laugh, Shoot. In my 24 year career, I've always battled with using flash. I always found the look of it to be harsh. Um, you know, it never really was flattering. I always like the more feel of natural light. That's why I always look for more, you know, soft, you know, natural light spots to shoot. Um, but in some cases, you have to use a flash. You know, namely, wedding receptions. And I've always looked for ways, even going back to our old big giant Q flashes, of modifying them just to soften things up. Back then, I would, you know, rip the modifiers off, you know, the little cone dish, and just shoot a bare bulb. Um, then we went to, you know, speed lights. And with speed lights, I would always look for either, you know, pulling up the bounce card and shooting into the ceiling, fooping off the side or even using things like you know rogue bounces uh, and they are they always you know have been decent you know quality um, especially the little you know stopin omni bounces that go on top but nothing really was like easy to use um, last year I found a great product which you know go over today called Magmont you're gonna want to start out buying the Magmont basic kit which includes the mag grip which is the piece that goes on the speed light this little thing's deceiving it looks small when you first open it up but stretches over pretty much every speed light head. The one thing is, it is hard to get on. So if you do have two speed lights and you may want to switch between the two, is get two kits. Because getting this thing on can be a bear. You don't want to do it while you're on a wedding. My favorite part though, is the transmitter holder. Now I've struggled with holding, putting these things on flashes for years, and this sucker just slides right on, and then it won't go anywhere. Gone are the days of having to you know hang your transmitter off of the, your light stand or bungee you know your transmitter to your flash which never works out well always flies out and it's still a pain in the butt to get hooked up also included are eight gels the gels you know they have all sorts of different colors with the standard kit super easy to put in you know ease of use means you're actually going to use them The final piece is the mag grid. The mag grid is great for backlighting, especially for night shots. Even if you want to just hone in the light, you know, at night towards the front, it's a real versatile piece of equipment. And it's also so small, it slips into your bag, your pocket, it's easy to use. The first thing you want to get besides the kit is the mag sphere. This awesome little plastic rubbery piece, you know, is your most versatile piece of the entire kit. You use it all day, pretty much for anything. You know, I like to use it sometimes when we need soft light for sunsets but it is especially your go-to for reception shots. You know, you can either bounce it up or shoot it straight at, you know, your subjects is gonna give you a nice soft light that's gonna spread across and give you an awesome look. It also makes a great spot to rest your chin during the day. Next up is the Mag Bounce. Mag Bounce is just, if you want more of kind of more of a spread to your light. You know, when I asked the gentleman at MagMod, you know, what was equivalent to the Rogue, um, the big Rogue panel, he said this was it. It's great for families, especially larger families, you want the light to spread out more. Um, sometimes I'll just throw it in a corner of a room on a, on a stand and just, you know, flash it and it spreads all through the room. Or you can still use it for sunsets too. What's cool about this is it actually has four magnets on it. So you can just shoot it straight, you know, the way your head natural normally is. Or you can flip it if you want your speed light to be more on an angle. This way also you can switch it for vertical shots. But one of the key things about this system is the stacking. You can put your filter on, you can put the grid on, and you can put the sphere on top of it and then you wanna rip it all down, switch it around, you can do whatever you want. But to be able to just pop things on and off super easy without having to like you know, bend them onto your flash is what's key. And then you just throw them in your bag, take them in and out. You know, moving with speed, especially on a wedding, you know, something you have to do. If you liked today's video, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. If you want to purchase mag mods, you, know, you can get them at pretty much any major retail camera store. What are you guys using for flash modifiers? Leave it in the comments below. Do you use MagMod? Do you like them? I, I just find the ease of use of them better than anything else out there right now. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.